So remember on Tuesday, we talked about what is a thermodynamical system, and we talked about state variables. What are state variables? Things that can explain what the system is doing right now. And what did we say that they were? Temperature, pressure, volume, right? Maybe mass, right? And other things. Then we also talked about the different equilibrium states, thermal, mechanical, chemical, phase. Then we talked about something that was very important, which was heat capacity and specific heat, right? We also said specific heat in different scenarios at constant volume and constant pressure. Remember these two for today. We will come back to these. Okay, so today's task is to talk about uh, latent heat of transformation and enthalpy. In order to talk about those things, may I go back and first talk about what is latent heat? Now, in chapter one, when we were doing this, I said, can I ever keep adding heat to a system without increasing its temperature? And the answer to that question is, yes, you absolutely, <laughs> you absolutely can continue to do that. And that happens at the phase change point. So, Adding heat to a system at a phase transformation will not increase its temperature. So what is phase transformation? Phase transformation is the conversion of solid to liquid to vapor Oh, you guys don't use use, right? Hmm? Or backwards. <clears throat> yeah, same thing. I'm just doing a very broad one right now. Sublimation is going from vapor to solid. Or the other way around. But just phase changes. So in this case, <clears throat> I said that at phase transformation, delta T equals zero. There's no change in temperature. So does that mean, can, and can someone remind me the definition of a heat capacity? You can look up. It was the big C, right? That was what? What happens when I put delta T equals zero in here? Can I do that? Nope. It becomes undefined, right? Or infinite, however you want to think about it. So how do we deal with that? Like all good physicists, when conservation of 
energy or conservation of lumps or conservation of jelly beans did not work, what did we do? We keep adding stuff to it until it works, right? Isn't that what we did with the whole story? The more complicated something became, the more we kind of thought about it, like add things to it. So in this case, in order to fix this problem, what did we come up with? You have heard this term in chemistry. True? Oh, we just ignored it. Oh, we pretended it didn't exist. Well, now we can't pretend here. So then we said, <clears throat> fine, we can't add heat to the system, but we say that we can add another term into our equation and act phase transformation, say, Since we want to know how much heat is required to melt or boil a substance completely, we define another term called latent heat L given by Q divided by M. And in English, we say that it is the, the amount of heat Q required to melt or boil any substance divided by its mass. And in most textbooks, it's also known as latent heat of transformation. Okay, conventionally we say note this very important fact. One, we assume pressure is constant. Usually one ATM. And two, no other work is done during this except for our compression, compressional or expansion work, which was defined as negative PDV. 